Hey guys, we are so back. As you can see, I have a different setup than usual. That is because I am in a temporary location at the moment. I like the lighting though. I think it looks nice. Literally moving in a week and it's so crazy. I can't believe it's coming so fast. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me items that you're thinking of purchasing or that are on your wish list. And today I'm going to be giving my honest opinion on them. All right, let's get started. Halter tops. I love halter tops. I think they're so chic and effortless. I feel like even though they have more of like a spring summer vibe, you can wear them all year round. I feel like I only own one halter top in my whole wardrobe, which is kind of crazy. I feel like I should get at least one more, one or two more and different neutral colors. But yeah, love. Arm cuffs. I think arm cuffs are super pretty. I have one or two that I like to wear. I think they're just like a really nice statement piece to instantly add a little bit more to your outfit. I feel like you can wear them year round. They definitely look really banging during the summer though with like a bikini on the beach or on vacation. They definitely scream very woman, feminine, sexy vibes. Adidas Sambas. I personally got very into this trend when it was trending. I just remember seeing that this was the it shoe on TikTok and Pinterest and YouTube. I scoured the internet until I could find a good secondhand price for these. But it was definitely a temporary trend for me. I sold mine recently. It didn't make sense for me to own them because they felt a little bit too casual for me and I don't even really wear sneakers. Yeah, I'm just not into them anymore really. Ballet flats. This is a fashion item that I feel like will never ever go out of style. I've owned ballet flats ever since I was a little girl. One of my most loved ballet flats I got as a hand-me-down from my mom and I still have them today and they're just the most comfiest shoes ever. They're very easy easy to just slip on and they go with literally every single outfit. So I think if you just get like a classic black pair, I think that's going to be a purchase that's going to last you a lifetime. Balenciaga City Bag. I recently finally acquired my very own Balenciaga City Bag. It was on my wish list for quite some time. It just has such an effortlessly cool Joanna Kutcher, Kate Moss, Model of Duty, Runge, Y2K, cyber tumblr aesthetic vibe if you know you know so yes 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 to this hobo bag yes i love a hobo bag i'm such a big bag girly like i need to bring my whole life with me when i go out i think hobo bags have one of the most relaxed chic looks to them the main thing that's cool about them is that you can put a lot and carry a lot in the bag without looking like you're carrying a lot the way they sit on your shoulder just looks very effortless and you just instantly look more stylish and put together so i'm a huge fan of them black loafers i love black loafers i love loafers in general i've gone through a lot of different pairs of loafers in my life i think the very best style to get is something as minimal and high quality as possible because this is something i feel like you can wear for a lifetime you can wear every season of the year you can wear them with socks you can wear them to dress up and elevate an outfit they're comfortable they're effortless chunky belt I love chunky belts. I have a huge belt collection, mostly all vintage thrifted belts, but I'm always looking for more because I feel like belts come in so many unique different types of styles from different eras and they add so much to an outfit. They can instantly elevate or spruce up an outfit. They just make you look more put together and more fashionable. Like you can have the most basic outfit on and it'll instantly make you look like you're ready to go out and get like a ton of compliments. These are also really easy to thrift because if you ever find a belt that you like that doesn't quite fit you, you can always buy one of those belt hole makers and then you can just add extra holes to make a belt fit you. I've done that before a few times. Margella Black Tabby Boots. I'm super into Mason Margiela as a brand right now. I recently acquired their ballerina tabbies, which I'm obsessed with. I know that a lot of people are wearing the boots right now, but 
Personally, they're not really my style. I think I just don't like shoes that cut off at the ankle. I never really have. They need to be a little bit higher for me. I don't know. I think quarter length boots kind of just cut your leg off and make you look shorter, especially if you're petite like me. I see people style them with like midi skirts or with pants, which I think looks flattering. I do definitely think they're stylish, but they're just not for me, I would say. Isabel Marantz. This is a really interesting trend. I've never really been into the more like grungy fashion aesthetic, but I've been seeing these a lot lately. A lot of the creators that I've been following, especially on TikTok lately, have been more into like that white and black sort of Tumblr grunge goth aesthetic. Isabel Marantz I think fits in very well into the aesthetic. For me, I feel like they're not quite my style. They feel a little bit too skater girl for me, but I like to see other people styling them. I think they're very interesting to look at for sure. Adept Eye Buy Direct Eyeglasses. This is funny because I think this is actually inspired by me because I got my Office Siren esque eyeglasses from Eye Buy Direct. I just randomly found out about the brand online. I was looking for non prescription eyeglasses that I could wear that had like a rectangular frame, very Bayonetta esque. I wear mine all the time. I lost a pair and then I repurchased them immediately because they're very comfy and lightweight and very flattering. So I would definitely say to go for it and get some of these. Onetsuka Tigers. I'm a fan of these. I think they're one of the most stylish type of sneakers that you can get. I have a pair of my own and I like them. They're comfortable. I wish they looked a little bit bigger on the foot. They're a very slim type of sneaker which I feel like creates a little bit of a off balance between each part of the body compared to the foot. Like I feel like my feet look really small when I wear them which I don't really like. I don't know. That's just like a very small nitpicky thing. I don't know if anyone else relates to that but I just noticed that and I didn't really like that. But I still think they're a good solid choice as a sneaker. I particularly like the silver ones and then the standard black ones. Capris. I think capris are absolutely adorable. I love wearing them especially during the summer and spring. I don't think there's really a way to pull them off in the fall and winter. They just feel super super warm weather coated. So they're not like the most versatile of a fashion item but I still think this is something that would be good to acquire because you can thrift it and you can style them in many many different ways and they're very cute and they just look very flattering I think. I've been wanting to get my hands on a pair of Adidas Capris for a while now too, so. Well-fitted office pants. If you know me, you know I love a good pair of low-waisted trousers, especially very office siren esque ones. My favorite color to get these in is gray. I have a bunch of different types of these. I've actually had to sell a lot of them because I just had way too many. When I go thrifting, I tend to gravitate towards them and I buy them even if if I already have a very similar pair just because they're like the most flattering pants that I think anyone can wear. I think the low rise in particular is just a very very flattering silhouette. It makes your torso look longer. I'm obsessed with these. I don't think I'm ever going to stop loving these. Anything from Reformation. I totally get the whole being obsessed with like a single brand thing. My favorite brand at the moment, Paloma Wool, I'm absolutely obsessed with and I feel like I'm obsessed with every single thing they make. But I think there is a little bit of danger with having a lot lot of loyalty to a specific brand because that can cause you to want to buy everything that they create or even break yourself subconsciously into thinking you like everything that that brand creates without actually sitting down and looking at all the pieces and being very practical like do I actually genuinely like this is this something that I can wear for a long period of time or do I really have an occasion to wear this or do I just like it because it's from a brand that I like so I think that's important to take into consideration. However, I do think Reformation does have a lot of cute pieces. They're definitely more for summer and spring, but they have a lot of elegant, timeless pieces, I would say. So if there's something from there or a few things from there that you really like, I would say go for it. But go for the ones that you think are more timeless, that you think you will be able to get a lot of wear out of for years and years to come. Margella Tabby Loafers. 
These I think are interesting. Margella really just likes to take any type of shoe and just put a tabby toe split on them. I really don't think these are necessary, like they're just loafers with a toe split. So if there's something you like about these shoes other than the toe split, like the fact that they're wide or square toe, I would say just get regular square toe loafers. I don't think these are really worth the price personally, unless you really love them, like you've been sitting on these for a long time and you think you would really like them. I mean, it's a very high quality brand, but I think there's a lot of other similar styles that you can get out there for a more affordable, practical price. Fitted shirts. I think fitted shirts are very flattering, especially like long sleeve button up fitted shirts. You can really just take any shirt and then alter it yourself or get it tailored to cinch in at the waist a lot. You can also get like waist clips to cinch in a shirt without actually sewing it. And then the silhouette itself is just obviously very flattering to have like a very small waist. I definitely like to accentuate my waist and I do tend to prefer more fitted tighter tops so this is something I'm for. A Miu Miu bag. I really love Miu Miu. It has been one of my favorite brands for quite some time. I think I just really like that elevated coquette aesthetic that they have. I think they do have a lot of really cute bags. I wouldn't say all of their bags are my style. There's a few in particular that I like way more than others. So it would really depend on which one you're thinking of. But the good thing about this brand is that you can easily find it for a better price on secondhand websites like Vistera, The Real Royal, eBay, Poshmark, etc. I would say go for it as long as you know that it's going to be a very versatile piece you can style in a lot of ways that you'll be able to wear for a long time. Jorts. I feel like jorts are not quite for me which is kind of funny to say because I just thrifted a pair of they're not like actual jean material but they're like fake jean material. I just really liked how they were dark wash but Jorts aren't really my style in general. They're very like low cat style, which I don't really indulge in. I think they can be cute for spring and summer. I've seen people style them in interesting ways, especially more of like a streetwear style vibe. I think they're nice and practical for going to the beach or going on vacation. And the good thing about these is I feel like you can thrift them from like the men's section and just alter the waist to fit you. I would definitely say go for like a dark wash pair if you're gonna get some. I think that is like the most stylish type of jorts that you can get. Bangles. I really love bangles. I own a bunch. A lot of them are vintage and thrifted or even from my mom. My mom has a lot of bangles. Every time I go home, I like to look at her jewelry and see what I can pick out for myself. He's a style icon. I think wearing a lot of bangles at once is extremely stylish, especially when they're differing sizes or differing styles. Having a bangle stack just makes you look way more stylish and put together and just extremely chic. Like, who is she? I want to be her friend. Jelanchi Boyu bag. I feel like this might be inspired for me because I just got one of these like a month or so ago and i would say do not get one because it's an extremely expensive bag and i have not worn mine more than once or twice to be quite honest which is really not great considering the price tag i think my main problem is that i got a color that is not very versatile it was kind of an impulse buy i definitely should have gotten the black color instead but i just got really inspired by someone else i saw with the pink color so that's the color i got i would say if you really really think you want to get one definitely get it in like black because that's just gonna be a color that you can always wear no matter what and you're never gonna get tired of it. But overall, I would say no, don't get it. Like there's plenty of other bags out there, especially if you're looking for a laptop bag because this does fit a laptop. There's just so many other options that are also high quality and just way more affordable. A silver bag. Yes, I am obsessed with silver. Silver and gray, especially those are like my top colors right now. I gravitate towards those colors whenever I see them. I definitely want to collect more silver colored bags. I think they're very fun and like an interesting pop of color. There's so many cute styles out there and you can really just pick and choose what you want. Like, 
feel like the possibilities are endless. A bubble skirt. I think this is a nice micro trend that has, I feel like, died a little bit, but I think wearing a voluminous skirt is very pretty and just a more interesting type of skirt. Especially if you're trying to partake in the artful minimalism aesthetic. I think you can't go wrong with having like one white bubble skirt or a white one and a black one. You can layer it with pants or even another skirt. You can pin it in different ways. It's just a fun and flirty piece to have in your closet so I'm all for it. So that's everything I wanted to give my opinion on. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and thank you to everyone that responded to my original question. I really appreciate it and I love to see what you guys are interested in buying. Let me know if you want to hear my opinion on anything else fashion related. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again very soon.